A lot of big tech stocks took a major hit today, Apple being one of them, as you can see right here. And actually, Apple had their big announcement today, their yearly September review, where they go through their big announcement for upcoming new products, including the new iPhone, the new Apple Watch, the new Apple TV, all this new Apple gadgets they all release and they talk about in a big live stream today. So if you didn't get to watch it, definitely go over and watch it. It's posted on YouTube. But uh, Apple stock normally doesn't do well with these announcements. It gets a little fluctuated. It looks like it jumped up a little little bit maybe at the start of the meeting um, and I think it was 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time that it started so this is about around the time that it did start and then it took a major hit after that and just fell the rest of the day but including Apple we actually had some other big names Nvidia being one that ran up this morning to 450 pulled back down to 447 took a massive hit yesterday falling all the way from 460 down to 443 I mean these are names that have been actually performing very very strong as of recent but the past day or two especially today a lot of these names have been getting hit Tesla another big one um, after getting the big announcement yesterday and running almost 10% now today is down to and a quarter percent so we saw it run up to around 278 Hit 278, couldn't break through anywhere above 280, and then fell below. So again, that 280 area is where we're watching to see if it could break above. And if it does break above, I think it's going higher. Um, along with Tesla, we have some different uh, names like ServiceNow, ticker symbol N-O-W. Uh, this, one, this one fell uh, this morning right at market open down from 605 opened during pre-market at 597 and then just took a tumble since then and fell the rest of the day down to 589 oh uh, that one's down almost three percent on the day oh uh, there's a lot of names on here that we're going to be talking about that just took a hit because of the overall nasdaq another big one we could take a look at is adobe ticker symbol adbe down almost four percent today down 22 points Opened the day around 559, 560, closed the day down by 540 area. But like we talked about in yesterday's video about Tesla, a lot of these stocks are gonna be needing that pullback. Tesla, for example, has been hot. It's been hot the whole month, basically, ever since August 16th, and now just in the past couple days, we have seen Tesla surge from 210 all the way up to 270 before pulling back down. Tesla, we talked about yesterday, has these different sections, section one, section two, and section three. We're currently in that second section, pulling back down. If it can bounce off of 260, I like the odds that it stays in this section, moves higher back into the top section, which is above 280. We'll have to keep watching that one. Apple, on the other hand, though, uh, Apple, I drew the support line right here around 170. The last time to hit this area uh, was where it did a double bounce. But before then, it's been a while. It's been since like May since we've even seen it that low. So taking a look at this, I really like the odds that it gets close to this 170 to 172 area takes a couple bounces and surges off of that and moves higher um but right now we're looking at a strong area of resistance here where we try to bounce we try to bounce we try to bounce we did break through here fell back below tried to bounce and then did surge bounce bounce here it got rejected multiple times the past couple days so this is an area right here this 180 is another area that's a strong point so this stock really between 172 and 180 is a section and then if we go back up here we can take the top of where we just were up here on 190 so pretty much even numbers pretty easy to follow um so we're in the lower section here i'd like to see apple get above 180 to move higher up to this point uh, service now is a little bit of a choppier one um, right now we're kind of just bouncing off the all-time highs um, 614 area 610 um, we're pulling back down to where this 590 area is maybe it could bounce here where we saw a little bit of action before but honestly I like this 180 day SMA line seems to be that we pulled down to this area um, there's a lot of action down here in your 560 um, but that's kind of a wide range I want to see what happens in the next couple days with service now and kind of just take it from there um, what are some other names that we can go through Apple Tesla? Oh, Nvidia is pulling back for sure um, We did draw this section here on yesterday's video and I like the odds that Nvidia stays within this 440 to 480 It's a wide section, but there's a lot of room for it to move and honestly I see it moving to the upside if it can break through 480 It's going to be getting to $600 whether we like it or not And I do believe that I think that it just has some time to stable out. I mean if you take a look at the past even year at this stock you can see that we have had quite the run-up it needs to cool off a little bit before its next surge we've seen multiple times where it has done this slight pullback and then continues to surge bounce slight pullback bounce pullback bounce 
pull back, bounce, and now we're pulling back again. I think we need this next bounce, and then we move higher about 500 and uh, into 530, 540, and then break through to all time highs, and honestly just move to 600 from there. Lastly, with Adobe, I like this 570 as a resistance up here being all time highs. Uh, the next area I want to look at would be probably down here where we tapped multiple times around 510. It's a wide range, but somewhere in this area. And then from there, I like the odds that it can hold either this 540 where we currently are at, stay above that area and stay in this to upper section or fall below into this lower section. And honestly, Adobe is one that it is expensive, but I honestly think that this is gonna be a good area to pick up shares in this lower section. If we drop below 540, get close to that 510, 520 area, this is a good area to pick up some more shares for the long term. But guys, let me know what you guys think about these stocks that I went over for today. Leave some comments down below, subscribe if you're new, like this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next breakdown video. Peace out, everybody.